Good morning everyone, welcome back to My Meals Monday. For those of you that are new here, my name is Katie and on Mondays I, upda I update, I upload a what I eat in a day video. Sorry I'm kind of like backlit, I'm trying to face the window here, but my food is over here. <laughs> um, I think what I need to do is just film these in front of the window going forward. Anyways, um, I will show you guys my breakfast. Today I am eating 100% on plan, that is the goal. I have my meal plan and my meals cooked. I did them yesterday and I have for breakfast oatmeal, but this is the Quaker High Fiber Instant Oatmeal. I am sticking with this for now because I have a whole box and I have to eat it, but it's not that great. Um, but I do prefer the Rude Health, so yeah. I also have one boiled egg over here. I have a coffee inside here. Um, and then a nice big thing of water. So this is what my breakfast looks like. The goal is um, to hit one gallon of water a day. So this is what I do. I fill this up when I first wake up out of my normal refrigerator thing. And then inside my refrigerator, I have a big gallon of water in here. And I force myself to drink it all, um, even though I don't particularly feel like I might need it but I know because of where I live and all of that I will the reason why I add in the extra bottle is because I notice when I first wake up I'm super 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 thirsty and I drink a lot more water so that's why um, I feel like I'm not balancing it throughout the day so instead I just fill it up drink this and then start filling from the jug so that I'm getting plenty of water throughout the day and not just all at once in the morning but that is my breakfast. I'm gonna go eat because it's 8.07. I was supposed to eat at eight and I'm starving. I am having my collagen powder. I use the Vital Proteins Marine Collagen. I really, really don't like beef collagen. There's just something about it I really don't like, but these can be quite controversial. Some people believe in them, some people don't. I will say, I don't know the science behind it. I don't know um anything behind it i don't know how our body absorbs it if it absorbs all of it or not but i will say when i drink this i notice a huge huge difference in my nails i have really weak brittle nails right now because i'm a nail well i was a nail biter um i haven't for a long time and then for the past like month or so i've been dealing with a lot of stressful stuff with work and having like lots of anxiety which i don't normally deal with at all and so um i've noticed that like i've started biting them again so anyways gone back on the collagen because like i said i notice a huge difference and also i get like um little ridges in my nails because of the fact that like i tear and pull at them and stuff like that so um yeah i just like drinking it so i mix it with four ounces of orange juice today i'm using Ottawa. i wasn't able to get whole to whole foods over the weekend so i'm using that and then i just pour the whole package in put it in a shaker and mix it up lucy windham reed i'm over here gotta get across whether you like it like it or not there is a moment meant for us and now you made it but i already played this not interested open your eyes let's get it done take my hand just follow me shadow me i won
Open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me Shadow and me are one done working out and um, I'm gonna have my morning snack it is 10 a.m. and I'm supposed to eat my morning snack within 10 minutes of my workout so I just have some almonds that's a lie walnuts um, basically because I'm tracking macros I need to hit a fat gram grams of fat what am I trying to say I need to hit a fat count throughout the or during the day and I've really been struggling to hit it. My coach um, recommended walnuts because they're high in fat. So I can have 10 grams of walnuts, which is roughly like six or seven full-size walnuts. Um, and that is equivalent to 10 grams of fat. So I'm gonna eat this, drink some more water. This is like my third bottle now, and um, then go take a shower and get ready for the day. So I just wanted to show you guys how I do my lunch and dinner. So I'm just going to do my lunch right now. It is 11.58, so it's lunchtime for me. And basically, I told you guys a while ago that when I do my meal prepping, I'm not putting it in individual containers. I'm weighing it out that day. And that's just because I honestly don't have the space for individual containers. So this right here is my lunch. It is a... Um, chicken and nectarine salad from the Michelle Murray cookbook this is what the chicken looks like and you can see the chicken is different sizes and so um, I want to be able to put exactly what the weight of the chicken is so I have my kitchen scale here I really want to get a new one because I feel like this is just so ugly <laughs> um, but I've had it for years because I was always weighing out Charlie and Louie's food. So put the plate on first so that it doesn't count the weight of your plate. And set it on there and it is 6.1 ounces of chicken. So we're going to turn it off and then we're going to turn it back on so that then the chicken is part of the zero weight. It is 3.2 ounces. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I just popped it in the microwave for one minute. I'm hoping it kind of makes the nectarines like a little bit juicier because they were a tiny bit underripe. Like if I could have left it for an extra day or two, they would have been perfect, but I couldn't, so. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to tell you, this is a freaking amazing. So I put it in the microwave with the nectarines, highly recommend that, made them so juicy. And just the entire thing, it's like you can taste the cumin and the garlic, but it's also sweet with the nectarines and the red pepper. So highly recommend it. So I'm just having my snack. It is 2.38, I was supposed to eat this at two. It's um, some carrots, baby carrots, and one of these hummus cups. The hummus cups are nice because they're already like pre-portioned and everything. I had to weigh these out to exactly three ounces, which when you say three ounces, it doesn't sound like a lot, but then you see you get quite a bit, quite a few in there. So I'm just going to eat that. I'm also going to make myself drink like a big thing of water right now. So I'm just going to drink all of this because I'm running behind on my water. I've been busy. I keep forgetting. I may have to put a reminder in my phone. I feel like my phone's constantly going off reminding me to eat, reminding me to do this, do that. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. It is dinner time at five o'clock. Sorry about the TV. We're watching this movie, Don't Say a Word, with Brittany Murphy and Michael Douglas. So good, highly recommend. So I'm just gonna show you my dinner real quick and then finish watching it. Okay, so I have my salmon from Costco. I have some green beans 
some what is that called brussels sprouts with some roasted broccoli and then mashed parsnips with gravy and that is my dinner all right guys it is 8 50 i am going to head to bed i've got my skincare done although i feel like i'm sweating it off i need to stop moving around um so i've got my skin to skincare done and everything alarm set for 5 a.m tomorrow drinking my last bit of water i already refilled my water bottle for tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed this what i eat in a day give the video a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys in my next video bye